Hi Taurus, it's Power Online Tarot coming at you with a reading. This is going to be one of their true intentions in love, Taurus, and this is your love reading between you and somebody. And Taurus, remember these are general readings and that you can switch the characters around. Yeah, and uh, we have from the Law of Attraction deck, the Emperor. The Emperor talks about trust your own kind of guidance and your own, like you might have to take matters into your own hand to make something kind of really work for you. Uh, don't rely on other people. Rely on yourself because you are the emperor. And the emperor is about kind of uh, putting your empire in order, right? Like, yeah, arranging things, uh, you know, so you can, like, succeed with your empire, right? That's what this is. Or about changes, whatever, right? But either one. Mm -hmm. The magician is here in the Three of Swords, Taurus. And I just have these cards kind of loose here. They are tarot cards, but... The Three of Swords in this deck is doom and gloom, right? It is. But <clears throat> I don't think it is with the Emperor here, which talks about, you know, creating your empire, but rely on yourself. Don't rely on anybody else. And the Magician is in the middle. This is like, <clears throat> this is, you know, this is manifesting a situation and having all the tools to do it, right? Like you're a badass, right? So let's look at the Magician. He is the number one, and ones always talk about new beginnings, right? Uh, the Magician is the master of time and space. He creates his own reality. Thoughts move at the speed of light, and the hand is quicker in the eye. Magic, power, manipulation, diplomacy. Interesting how they put diplomacy in there, right? Self-confidence, talent, willpower, mastery, showmanship, etc. All right, so you have everything you need here. Uh, right? You could be, you know, you're mastering everything here. Uh, there has been some doom and gloom. Uh, and this was the first card I put out. So this is like the past moving this way, uh, Taurus. Here you are, uh, you know, rely on yourself, Taurus, all right? Don't rely on other people. You know you can't really count on... <coughs> A lot of people are, they are in fear or can't count on them. They might be in denial. Right now, a lot of people are in denial about about our country. Yeah, they're in major denial. Okay, so well, let's get into this. The spirit symbol, Taurus. The spirit symbol is all about, you know, your abundance, your intuition. Yeah, this is about a new beginning. It can be, uh, but it is mostly about you having so much, like, intuition. Yeah, and uh, like clairvoyance. This is really cool, right? And what else do we have? The dragon. This is more of that type of energy. This is great energy, the dragon. Yeah, it looks like it's not, maybe, uh, because of the word, the dragon. But this is the Chinese dragon, like, you know. Uh, and the dragon is, you know, all about power. Yeah, when we see the dragon. I feel like they talk about the dragon in every, like, I could be wrong, but in every Chinese New Year, I feel like they always show the dragon. They could, right? Just because, uh, let's have a look at the dragon. Mm-hmm. And let's see what they have to say here. And this is enormous power surrounds you. Use it to your advantage entirely to be a winner. You have the magician, the empire, the dragon. You're kicking butt here. An interesting thing, Taurus, your first card is the Three of Swords. Right? Yeah, you are kicking ass. Okay, yeah, if I may say that. And an incredibly powerful card. The dragon symbol is strongly associated with success and victory. Ambitions will be satisfied. The power of the dragon surrounds you and you'll move forward in leaps and bounds. Mm -hmm. Now, regarding success, this is all about success. Okay, if you act with integrity and honesty, <coughs> those who do not act with integrity or honesty will feel will face the wrath of the dragon and regarding relationships you might meet a rich dynamic partner because the dragon is about success you might re, uh, meet a rich a dynamic partner as your aura will attract lot will attract lots of lovers but don't get caught up in the game as you might miss the perfect partner who shall come through the crowd marriages made now will be powerful Wow, uh, Taurus, right? super cool. <coughs> so let's see what we have for you, Taurus. And let's get a couple shuffles. And you guys have a cold, so I'm sorry, kind of bear with me. I beg your pardon, but uh, I didn't try to get one. No. <laughs> we have, you guys. And 
have a tiny bit of water here. So I beg your pardon, you guys. Let's get into this reading. Sorry about that. So let's see, uh, Taurus. It's such a beautiful reading. I don't want to kind of shut the camera off now during my little... Break. I beg your pardon on that, you guys. Let's look at your energy, uh, Taurus. The King of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. The Nine of Wands. You're looking right at him, like kind of worried here. The Page of Wands is your challenge. What you want is a brand new beginning with somebody. Yeah, you want, but you want it for the long haul. You don't want just some kind of, you know, uh, a minute I'm out. No, you want to stay. You want something for the long haul. And you want something tangible and profitable most likely or at least stable in other words like the finance the finances or the you know the energy of the union is stable stable can be you know not always about money but this is the pentacle and Taurus is you know you are the empress and this is about material aspects or material you know Things, things that are, uh, you know, materialism is important to you. Uh, I have a Taurus moon, and it is to me too, but it's not like, uh, you know, too much. Or, you know, I have to have, you know, <coughs> a $300 purse, uh, you know, drive around in a Tesla, or I can't explain it. I need the quality thing. I don't necessarily need the best or the most expensive. I'm, sh I'm certainly not into name brand stuff. In fact, name brands are usually, uh, men, uh, a lot of the time, it's a bunch of bullshit. Yeah, and then, you know, they'll sell you a, a vinyl purse for $400. Why should I pay 400 bucks when you guys made that for $3? Yeah. Mm-hmm, that's what's going on here. <clears throat> so let's see, we have, there's hardly, hardly any leather left, you guys. Just buy leather because it lasts longer. And, uh, you know, they say you're hurting an animal, but, you know, that plastic vinyl purse you have, uh, it goes to the garbage far quicker because it, it cracks and things like that. And it hurts your hand if you use it enough, right? You can tell I use my purses, right? Yeah, I do. So let's see, uh, Taurus, let's get into this and we'll, you know, we'll start ta stop talking about consumerism and landfills. Yeah, we will. Uh, and let's see, Taurus, your challenge is a new path you want with somebody. It's very clear you want a new direction with somebody. The Ace of Pentacles showing up on what you want. You're fearing, though, that things are not going to go well with the Ten of Swords. You're either fearing <clears throat> things are going to end, or maybe betrayal, <clears throat> or some type of major harsh energy, or you're fearing maybe that they won't end the situation. It's possible here, right? Uh... Mm -hmm. or doubting that they won't is, is the right way to say it. Mm -hmm. This person is wondering uh, about you, Taurus. Yeah, they have the Seven of Pentacles. They're wondering about you, or like what's going to happen with you, kind of. Maybe with regards to money, but I don't feel like it's that so much. The King of Wands is your first card, uh, vertical to the Seven of Pentacles. Like, this is your person, and they are wondering all about you. And you are wondering about them, but worried, like, oh shit, what's going to happen <clears throat> with this person? As the wounded warrior, they have the Eight of Swords, like they know no other way out. Uh, but I feel like then to come and have a passionate new opportunity with you, the Ace of Wands. Their challenge is the Knight of Swords, like their challenge is to take action or be determined and do it. Their fear is the Empress. And Taurus, you do rule this card, right? The Empress is the queen of security. Uh, she's the queen of material, uh, material things, stability, making her dreams come true, passions, hard work, uh, all that stuff that kind of brings you really good things. And also sensuality and uh, sexual passion as well, earthly passion. Mm-hmm. So here, you guys are almost mirroring each other. You want the Ace of Pentacles. They want the Ace of Wands. So let's see what we have uh, for you, Taurus. The Hermit. Maybe they're a Virgo. You look like you're soul-searching, though. The Justice card. So you maybe this person is Libra. And Taurus, you could be, like, you could be wondering about a contract here with the Justice card. Maybe they're in a marriage. 
Maybe. For some of you guys. Mm-hmm. You could be like uh, the wounded warrior about the truth. Like, gee, I wonder what's going to happen here. Like, I've already been through a lot. I'm, I'm paranoid about the future. <coughs> and we know this is really important to you. Uh, it is, because you have three major, well, you have two major arcana and a core card. Now you have the Knight of Pentacles, two core cards. This is you, though, Taurus. It is. Let's get another card. Five of Cups. So, I don't, you know, it's possible you already went through an ending with this person, Taurus, but I don't think you have. I think you are wondering about another ending. Because the Nine of Wands is the energy is like, oh, shit. I'm worried about the future. I'm worried about I don't know what's going to happen. So let me protect myself. Let me put my bandage on. Mm-hmm. I feel like you are, like, worried that you might have to deal with emotional loss or you are just kind of, like, in this energy about, I wonder if somebody's ending something. It could be. The Page of Wands is your current energy with the High Priestess and the Four of Pentacles. This is your energy. You look like you're holding on to maybe a secret or a water sign. Mm -hmm. You look like you're on a new path to hold on to somebody here. There's something you don't know over here about somebody. The Page of Wands. You're looking right about, for me, about a King of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. Maybe it's about Libra or, Tor or uh, Virgo. But you look like you are uh, kind of concerned about some type of ending. Your ending or another ending. But here you are holding on to somebody. And on a new path. <coughs> I feel like what you are doing here is you are... You could be wondering about them here. Maybe about if they're ending something or if you're going to deal with an ending or hold on to this person and walk a new path with them. That's what that's the energy that you are in. Mm -hmm. And the emperor talks about somebody who is rely on yourself. Like take action and don't listen to other people at all. You have the spirit symbol here. This is like, this is... Uh, saying spirit is with you and that your dreams can come true now especially with the dragon omg this doom and gloom i don't think is for you taurus with the three of swords i don't think it is what you want is the ace of pentacles and the ten of wands you want a new beginning with somebody but a new beginning or a new opportunity that's going to last that's going to stay with you <clears throat> excuse me for all time i feel like the, for the long haul but it's a burden. I feel like your person is in another situation because you are fearing the Ten of Swords. Like, or doubting. You're either doubting they're going to end a situation possibly or you are fearing that if they are not with somebody, you just want them to come back to you and you're fearing that things aren't going to work for you, Ten of Swords. And we have completions. <coughs> like endings, the Ten of Wands and the Ten of... Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, that's you, for sure. And your fear, unless you're dealing with Virgo over here, your fear is the Ten of Swords and the Seven of Wands. You're trying to, like, you don't want something to end. You're fighting back. Their energy is the Seven of Pentacles. They have the King of Pentacles reversed. They're wondering about what's going to happen to you as well, unless they are an Earth sign. Here you are reversed, most likely, uh, Taurus. How dare they, right? You're like, what? I'm, I'm the Empress, and, uh, you know, and I have the dragon and the symbol, spirit symbol card, so don't mess with me, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's see what else we have. And they're in the Eight of Swords energy. This person's worried. Ten of Cups. I feel like this person was wondering in the recent past what they could kind of manifest with you. What they could, they could, they could have already sown seeds with you. This is somebody you know for sure, sown seeds with you, uh, Taurus. And now they were wondering what they could reap. Like, what could we have together, right? Here they are, the Eight of Swords energy, the Magician. Yeah, your person might be in a family dynamic. They could. The Ten of Cups is here. We have three, uh, three completions here, right? Yeah, they. So let's see. I mean, they may not be, but uh, definitely this person was thinking about what they could, like, reap with you or 
yeah, you reap what you sow. Yeah, what they could reap because you've already sown seeds with them. And, uh, you know, maybe they're concerned about their finances on some level. But this person knows there's no, there's no other way out for their happiness unless they manifest this with you. That's how I'm reading this here. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Now you're in the reverse again. How dare they? And the Ace of, not the Ace, but the Star card reversed. For me, this person could think that you're giving up hope. I also feel like this person thinks that there's no other way out for them to be happy, only only to be with you, Taurus, only to be with you. Yeah, and that they have to come and heal the situation. Mm-hmm. With you. Let's see here with the star card. I also feel like this is about success and a new beginning. Yeah, it is. Seven of Wands. Excuse me. Seven of Wands, you guys, are super overwhelmed. Here you are, Taurus, in the same energy. Seven of Wands. Overwhelmed, defensive, protecting kind of yourself, standing up for yourself. The challenge for them is the Knight of Swords and the Three of Cups. This is their... Yeah, they want to reunite with you, and you want to hold on to them. This is very clear here. And, you know, the emperor is in this reading right here. This talks about rely on yourself, right? If you want to make a dream come true. like, And, you know, when they say that, they talk about determination. Don't listen to other people, but be determined. Rely on yourself. You can't rely on yourself unless you are determined, right? We heard that since we were a kid, right? About anything we wanted to do. Okay, don't quit. If you're in college, don't quit. You, have, you need determination to follow through on anything. And I just feel like this person here, this Knight of Swords, uh, who could be an air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, possibly, but I feel like this Knight of Swords is about determination to reconcile with you. And the King of Swords, this is their challenge. It could be an air sign, but it could be a, it could be a decision. Because I feel like that's what you want here. On some level, you want this person to make the decision and be done with it. And that's what the Emperor does too. He makes decisions for his empire. Yeah, he does. He's not, he doesn't fool around. <coughs> this union is blessed and protected by spirit. Showing up right here next to the dragon. King of Wands. This is your first card. This is in their challenge. Most likely they're a fire sign, Taurus. Let's see what they want. They could be this uh, uh, air sign with the King of Swords here. And what they want is the Knight of... The Ace of Wands with the King of Cups reversed. This person might have fear about, they do, for sure, they have fear about this. Yeah, they do. With the Eight of Swords, Seven of Wands. They have fear here. Mm-hmm, they do. That's why their challenge is to reconcile with you. Could be third-party energy challenging them, too. But definitely, their, their challenge is to reconcile with you. The King of Cups in the reverse could be a, a Piscean, a Cancerian. Right in your challenge here is this High Priestess. Right, who could be Pisces or Scorpio, could be a Cancer here. Uh, but I feel like this person, maybe in the reverse, they might, might want a new beginning with you. Maybe they, uh, you know, sometimes this King of Cups reverse is somebody kind of who, kind of a player, somebody maybe who could have been drinking a lot. It's a possibility. Um, but, you know, let's see what else we have. They definitely want this passionate new opportunity. Right below Taurus, the Queen of Pentacles. And that's you. Temperance. Maybe this person is Sagittarius with the King of Wands twice. I feel like they they could definitely be uh, a Sagittarian because the King of Wands is here twice. But they could be the Sagittarian here, and maybe they uh maybe they have or had a King of Cups, a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Hmm. What they fear, uh, Taurus, the Empress and the Nine of Swords, they're all worried about you. Yeah, this person is worried about you. It's possible this person is kind of worried. I feel like this is you. But sometimes this uh, Empress, who is all about passion and kind of material, you know, 
material gain. It can also be about, you know, and nurturing, but this could also be, maybe they are worried here, uh, they're worried about you, but they could be worried about possible third party energy, they could possibly here, and the Two of Cups. Regardless of what they are worried about, Taurus, this is about you and the Two of Cups because this person really loves you. This reading is about two people who want to be together, but there's some type of a disconnect here. In the past, there was some type of a disconnect, yeah. So we're going to go to the extended Taurus. I really want to see this, yeah. They're all super affordable. We're going to see the underlying issues, how they feel about you, Taurus, what's crowning their thoughts. Uh, who or what is in the near future, their environment, right, physical or emotional. Well, you don't know about this person, Taurus, and their true intentions. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe.